Chapter 51 The Jaredites Travel to the Promised Land While the Jaredites camped by the sea, the brother of Jared forgot to pray. The Lord came in a cloud to tell him to repent. The brother of Jared repented and prayed. The Lord forgave the brother of Jared, but said he should not sin any more. The Lord told the brother of Jared to build barges to take his people to the promised land. The Lord told the brother of Jared how to build the barges. The barges were made airtight so no water could get inside. The brother of Jared wondered how the people would have air to breathe in the barges. He asked the Lord what he should do. The Lord told him to make a hole in the top and bottom of each barge. The hole could be opened to let air in and closed to keep the water out. The brother of Jared told the Lord that the barges were dark inside. The Lord asked him to think of a way to have light inside the barges. The light for the barges could not come from fire or from windows because they would break. The brother of Jared went to a mountain and formed 16 small stones from a rock. The stones looked like clear glass. He made two stones for each of the eight barges. The brother of Jared carried the stones to the top of a mountain. There he prayed to the Lord. The brother of Jared asked the Lord to touch the stones so they would give light inside the barges. The Lord touched each stone with his finger. Because the brother of Jared had great faith, he saw the finger of the Lord. It looked like a human finger. Then the Lord showed himself to the brother of Jared. Jesus said, those people who believe in him will have eternal life. Jesus taught and showed the brother of Jared many things. Jesus told him to write what he had seen and heard. The brother of Jared carried the stones down the mountain. He put one stone in each end of each barge. They gave light inside the barges. The Jaredites went into the barges with their animals and food. The Lord made a strong wind blow the barges toward the promised land. The Lord protected them in the rough sea. They thanked the Lord and sang praises to him. After 344 days on the water, the barges landed on the shore of the promised land. When the Jaredites came out of the barges, they knelt down and cried tears of joy. The Jaredites built homes and planted crops in the Promised Land. They taught their children to listen to the Lord and obey His words.